Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, we're firing up the Lone Star Grill Vertical Smoker, the Vertical Insulated Smoker, and we're gonna do some chicken. You guys stay tuned. I'll we'll show you how this chicken comes out doing the JP style inside the insulated. Check it out. So here's how we're gonna set up the firebox inside this uh, Lone Star Grill insulated vertical smoker. But before we do that, guys, I wanna tell you something. You're looking for, if you're ever looking for what I would say is the most efficient insulated smoker in the market that would just run for hours, don't look no further than Lone Star Grill, uh, Lone Star Grills. I'm gonna put a link to their website down below. You guys go check them out, you know, and they got different sizes when it comes to the to their insulated. So go to the website and, and check out their products. They got good stuff. They build good stuff. American made, you know, you can't, you can't beat these uh, smokers. So here's how I'm gonna set up the smoker or the uh, insulated firebox. Let me put my gloves on and we'll pull this basket out. And we got a little bit still left here from the last cook. And what I'm going to do is just fill that up right there. I got a little bit of B&B uh, &B left over uh, from my last cook. So I'm going to just fill this up right here with what's left over. Throw that bag over there. And grab this other bag. There we go. And I'm gonna leave a little bit room up here in the front. Cause this is where I'm gonna put my lit charcoals at right here. And I'm also gonna be using to give it a little bit of smoke flavor. I got a little couple chunks of, of apple left over. So I'm gonna put that right about there. And to be truthful, I think just one piece would be enough, you know, just for for chicken. But I'm gonna throw that one in there as well. So that's my setup right there again, right here in the front. Leave it open because that's where I'm gonna put the lit charcoals and it should burn towards the back. Uh, and there's different ways that you can set up your Lone Star Grill um, basket. You know, some people put it here on the edge and do like an L shape all the way across. You can do that or or come over here, come towards the front and do an L shape. Um, you can do that, but I like I like starting in the middle and building that heat up in the middle. Uh, and, you know, seems to work okay for me. So let me go ahead and get that charcoal lit up. So we got this basket just about <laughs> fired up. It's ready to go. Let's uh, pour us in some charcoal in this bad boy. Try to make as much room as I can here. There we go. Woo. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Got us some B and B lump in here. Close her up and bring the temp up nice and slow. So what you wanna do, open the top vent all the way, open the ball valve all the way as well. And I'm gonna be shooting for about 300 degrees. So at 250, I'll close the ball valve to about half. Then at 275, I'll close it another half, and that should bring the temperature up nice and slow all the way up to 300. So that's, that's going to be your ideal temp. I'm not using water uh, today inside the water, in, inside this smoker, because chicken tends to have uh, enough fat in it, enough moisture, so it really doesn't need water. And that's the nice thing about these smokers right here, that 
you know, you can run them as a water smoker and you can run them without any water, you know, so it's got a, it's, it's, it's got that nice versatility, you know, built into it. <laughs> Leaves falling. Here we go, guys. Let's get this chicken out here. And let me tell you, these are some nice looking. Look at that. Look at that chicken thigh right there. Boy, that is a nice looking uh, chicken thigh with nice skin color. So let me get these bad boys out. And it is absolutely a gorgeous day, uh, you know, for for January. Just gorgeous, uh, nice and beautiful weather. You know, we did wake up this morning. It was a little bit chilly, but not too bad. I may need to get my knife and trim some of this. Some of these may need some trimming like that one right there. Oh, yeah. This one's got a little bit more skin on it than I would like. So I am going to have to go and get my knife. So here we go. Uh, this one looks good. It's got a little feather in it still. Now where's that piece? All right here, this piece right here, we're just gonna trim this off. That way we get it dressed up nice. Go try to get some of this excess fat off of it. You know, some pieces will come out really nice like that one, you know, and then some pieces you'll get like that. You know, it all depends on how, you know, the guy cutting the meat that day is doing. But that looks good. This one's got a little bit too much right there. That looks good now. That one looks good. Take a little bit off there. That's good. That's good. And uh, this one right here, oh man, this one had quite a bit. Okay. So, while we're getting these chickens seasoned up, or well, before we get them seasoned up, you know, let's talk about chicken just a little bit you know chicken is probably one of those kinds of meat that you got to cook all the way through and you definitely want to have good food handling with it uh, make sure you're wearing gloves make sure your hands are nice and clean because uh, you know chicken can get salmonella you eat it and you can get sick uh, eating it uh, another key indicator if you got bad chicken you know grab a piece of chicken and give it a good whiff you know, if it smells, if it smells clean, if it's, you don't get a bad odor, you know, chicken is okay. But if you get a piece of chicken that gives you a bad odor and you, you're like, and you can't stand it, or even, even a, a slight faint odor, no, don't, don't, don't eat that chicken, toss it. Okay. The other thing you'll see is uh, a discoloration on the, on the chicken as well. So you want to definitely always uh be cautious when you're handling chicken and when you're cooking chicken cook it all the way through um fda recommends 165 so i always hit it at 165 and above you know and sometimes i'll even run it to 175 you know anything that higher than that and you're overcooking the chicken and it'll just get dried out on you but anyhow here's what we are gonna be using i got me one two three four five six seven eight i got me 10 pieces of uh of chicken thighs and the seasoning that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using two seasonings i'm going to be using my jpap uh, which is a very good blend of salt pepper garlic and the other one that i got is my sweet heat i'm going to be using uh, some sweet heat on these chicken thighs that way they get a nice little color now you want to be careful anytime you're using uh rubs that have a primary ingredient with sugar you know sugar tends to burn and caramelize and your chicken could come out a little darker than what you want but all we're gonna do is just a little bit on it just to give it that little flavor right on the skin and put it in the tray put it in the refrigerator and wait till this uh, smoker comes up to temp here we go let's get started now if you're interested in any of these products guys feel free to visit my website. Uh, my website, jpbarbecue.com, is where I sell all of these products. Uh, these products help support this channel. There we go. And you don't need too much, just a nice little dose like that. And we're gonna give it a flip. So yeah, anyway, uh, jpbarbecue.com, it'll pop up right there in the corner if you're interested in any of these products. 
feel free to uh, visit the website and get you some. All right, so let's get this top layer done. Oh yeah, just look at that. Just a nice little coat on the skin. And we're also gonna hit the, the backside of it as well. All right, that's all we need right there, guys. Oh man, this chicken looks good. It looks good just like this with the seasoning on it. So, all right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the, to the backside of it and then put them back in the refrigerator. And once I get that thing up to, to temp, we are gonna get to cooking. So our smoker has hit 250, guys. It's time to start closing that damper down a little bit, okay? Once it hits 275, we'll close it down again. About halfway is what you want. And close it half, then when you get 25 degrees from your target temp, close it another half. Once it hits 275, close it down another half, and it'll start creeping up even slower up to 300. And we're gonna try to keep it there at 300. If you see that it's going, it's, if it's climbing up too fast, just slow it down, just close it down even, you know, uh, even just a little bit more where you just have like a little sliver of it open. Uh, but 300 is what we're gonna attempt uh, to reach and, 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 su and sustain, I guess you can say. Let's go ahead and get this chicken put in or uh, gauge or digital gauge has, has creeped up to about uh, 292 293 it did slow down a little bit so i went ahead and opened up the ball valve uh a little bit more again when when not that they're tricky to work with but when you start getting closer to your target temp you may need to play with the ball valve a little bit that way you can fine tune it if it starts slowing down a little bit too much crack it open a little bit more and as it gets to its target temp you know close it down and if you see have the temperature fluctuating a little bit just crack it a little bit more again so but let's go ahead and get this chicken put in because it's uh it's 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 getting up there and we want to be quick about this because we don't want to lose that heat that's inside and i'm gonna go ahead and put this whole thing in there just like that and uh, drop a probe in there in one of the thighs, call it good. And uh, I'll probably douse them down a little bit with some barbecue sauce. That way they get a nice little color to them as well. So, but they're in there and uh, we'll see how this chicken comes out. Here we go, guys. This chicken has reached an internal temperature of about 150. It's still got a little bit more to go. We're going to take a look at it, see how it's, uh, how it's coming along. And then we're going to dress it up a little bit with some of our JP Licious sauce. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Check it out. Let me grab a rag. I do have my liners on, but still these things do get very hot. Not take a look at that i mean you can see the juice is just coming i mean just dripping into the tray looks absolutely gorgeous i mean taking on a nice color we haven't reached our optimum color that we want but we're getting there guys so let's put a little bit of our jp licious sauce and again if you're interested in any of these products guys something uh, it'll pop up right there in the corner go out to my website check out my website it'll show you all the products that i have for sale you know uh, you know between my rubs and my sauces so here we go oh yeah oh skin is the skin is nice and how can i say it uh dry and 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 and, and cr it looks like it's gonna be crunchy all right, you know, cause nobody likes no soggy uh, chicken. I like me some crunchy skin on my chicken. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna get these sauced up. And then once they reach the temperature that we're looking for by 165, 170, we'll be giving these bad boys, you know, a little run for their money. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Oh, my mouth is watering. This is going to be good. This is going to be really good. If you're curious about what I got, what else I got in here, I got me a couple of sweet potatoes in there. Got some sausage I'm going to be doing up. 
there we go i mean this is there we go. oh this is gonna be good we got them with a nice little glaze not much longer Ooh, let me get some right here you know don't want this chick little piece of chicken thigh to get upset with me so yeah let's share the love there we go all right guys let me close this up they got a little bit more to go and we'll be eating us some chicken. We'll be eating good tonight, guys, or in just a little bit. Just want to give you guys an update on how this smoker is doing. We are rocking right at 300 degrees, and she's holding steady right there. Okay? I've done open the doors a couple of times to glaze the chicken, you know, put some of my JP Licious on it. Oh, God, that chicken is going to be so good. And, and it climbed back up to uh, 300 in just a few minutes. So... We still got about 10 more degrees. I'm gonna to try to take that chicken to about 175. Uh, that way I can get that, chick, that chicken skin nice and crunchy. See if it comes out nice and crunchy. So far it looked like it, it was gonna go do that. But if you don't think this smoker can climb up to 300, it can do it, man. Now, you, if, if you don't have a, uh, what do you call it? An air damper controller or something, and you're just controlling the, the intake with, your, with the ball valve, it will take a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of adjusting uh, uh, on how the sensitivity to that ball valve actually works. But yeah, you can get it up there to 300, you know. So uh, this chick's gonna be good, man. I can't wait for it to come out. Man, my mouth is watering and it just, it just smells so good right now. Hey guys, this chicken has reached an internal temperature of about 172. Let's go ahead and take it out. Let this chicken rest for just a little bit. Chicken looks good. Let me get it turned around so you guys can get a better look at it. Let me close this door. Man, would you look at that chicken? Let me cover it up. That way we don't lose no heat. So we're gonna cover it up. And we'll be coming back in about maybe 10 minutes. Let that temperature come down just a little bit. Hey, let's go ahead and get that chicken. Give it a taste test. Yes, sir. Keep it there nice and warm. My goodness. Would you just take a look at that chicken right there? That looks absolutely gorgeous. I want to pour me a little bit of my sauce. right about here and cut into this chicken took on a nice little smoke color there we go just mm. I don't need no fork what am I you doing let me just take this right here like that here we go guys Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That is absolutely delicious. The sweet heat with the JP Licious on it. Mmm. Yeah. Don't get no better than that. That is some good chicken right there, guys. Look at that skin. Mmm. Got a little crunchiness to it. But the chicken, look how moist it is. You know, it's got a lot of drops on it. My goodness. Hmm. You can give me a bite right here. In people's cars. Hmm. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That is. That is a fantastic chicken with the sauce. Mm. I'm sorry, but I got to eat. I apologize for the sun, guys. My house faces north. I'm in the backyard. I got that sun blazing down on me. Mm. Very, very good. 
nice little spiciness to it. Just look at it. Look how good that looks. Yes, sir. I want to keep on eating, but I got to leave some for the family. Guys, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right there. It really helps. Um, if you haven't tried my products, go out to the website, jpbarbecue.com. It'll pop up right there in the corner and uh, check out my products. Those products help support this channel. Uh, and if you're interested in anything that I have that I use on my, on my, uh, on my show, visit my Amazon store. Got an Amazon store that uh, got all the products that I use. Um, you know, go out there and check it out as well. But besides that, guys, I will talk to you guys later. I will see you on the next cookout. I love y'all. Y'all take care. And uh, y'all be good to each other. Bye.